What's going on, guys? I'm joined by Adam Bjornsson. Uh, he's a TV sports anchor at KOIN News, and he's a first-time winner of this award. So congratulations, Adam, and uh, thank you for taking the time and joining me on this interview. Yeah, you got it. No, I appreciate the time and, uh, of course, appreciate the award. Of course, of course. So, Adam, what was your career path like on your way to where you are now? Did you always know that you wanted to be um, a sports anchor or part of the sports media industry? Uh, yeah, no question. No question. I, uh, when I, I remember distinctly when it was, in fact, I was in sixth grade and, uh, and I said, you know what, if I can't play professional sports at some level, I want to make sure that I am going to be able to talk about sports professionally. And I was a big fan. This is going to date me a little bit, but I was a huge fan of Howard Cosell and how he used to treat and react with Muhammad Ali. And, and then, of course, then on Monday Night Football. So I watched those two, and I was just drawn to it. But in sixth grade, I remember I said, you know what? I'm going to be a sports anchor in Portland, Oregon. And wouldn't you know it, here I am all these wow. years later. And uh, yeah. yeah, awesome. It's, it's awesome. Awesome. You called your own shot perfectly. Exactly. Um, so, Adam, what would you consider to be your favorite part of your job right now? Well, you know, people ask me that quite a bit. And the one thing that I will say is that you could put me in Detroit, Phoenix, Miami, New York, any other city, and I wouldn't be the same that I am here in Portland, Oregon. Um, I grew up here. This is home to me. I've got a passion for all sports, regardless if it's from the lowest levels of, you know, youth uh, athletics and then high school and then college and then pro. Um, so I would say my passion and knowledge of the Portland market, probably first and foremost, that is really what has drawn me to Portland. I've worked for all but the ABC station in this town. And this October is going to actually mark 20 years wow. in, uh, in the Portland market on TV. So that's amazing. Congratulations on that as well. Um, now, this could be something tangible or intangible. It's usually the hardest question to, a to answer. Oh, great. Um, but uh, what has been, um, in your opinion, uh, the highlight of your career thus far? Um, probably to when I went to go cover the Oregon State Beavers uh, in Omaha at the College World Series. Okay. It was so organic that nobody thought that they were going to you know, win the national championship. Right. We aren't known as a state here in Oregon that is deals with a lot of outdoor sports year round um, Oregon State baseball though uh, in 2006 when they won the national championship in Omaha I would say that was pretty pretty impressive because everyone was kind of drawn to them they were underdogs and uh, right. they beat North Carolina you know down to their final out so it was I, I'd say that, that is probably the highlight of my career Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds like, sounds like a, an incredible story, especially because it probably meant so much to the state um, that you grew yeah. up in, you know, and, and that must've been um, incredible to, to cover that journey as well. Yeah. Um, and so what is the best piece of advice you could give someone who's thinking about pursuing a career in, in this industry? Well, it's funny you'd ask that. Uh, you know, I get asked that quite a bit as I'm sure other uh, sports anchors do. Um, I always say there's no experience like experience itself. The more experience, like what you're doing, in fact, I mean, what you're doing is giving you such a leg up on the competition. And I kind of, you know, I only can draw on my own experiences and what it was like when I was an intern and trying to learn the ropes and um, be you. People appreciate you being you and you've got to be persistent. Um, you know, when you're, especially when you're looking for other jobs, not a lot of people can follow a career path that I've been lucky enough to follow. Like say, I'm going to work in the Portland market, the area I grew up in, and then be here for 20 years. Right. Um, so I would say persistence certainly pays off and then just get the experience. The more you do things, make yourself available. And, uh, that goes a long way and be visible. Awesome. Awesome yeah. advice. Um, there, um, Adam. And those are all the questions I have. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but if you want to shout anyone out um, who helps you uh, win this award or leave us with any closing remarks that we weren't able to cover, um, any any extra advice or anything, you could go ahead and do that now. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I told you before, you know, I've worked in this market now for almost 20 years and I grew up watching guys in this market like Steve Arena and uh, Joe Becker, who is still in this market. By the way, he's a two-time uh, wow. NSMA winner uh, over at the ABC affiliates. So shout out to him uh, and all the guys, Ed Whalen, where, you know, the studio I'm in now next door, Ed Whalen was a guy I used to watch 
a long time ago. So um, and as a kid growing up, you know, and uh, I'm just so blessed and so thankful for uh, the NSMA to uh, think of me so highly in this regard. And, you know, I, I was joking with some people because usually I'm on the other side like you and asking the questions, right. not having to answer them. And uh, it's just, it's just kind of funny just to be in this position, but I said, well, I guess longevity in a market pays off at some point I'm going to be recognized and noted. Right. <laughs> oh, here today's that day, which yeah. is great. So I can't thank you guys enough. I look forward to the uh, award ceremony eventually when I get an opportunity to right. head out to the right coast and check <laughs> things out. So right. I appreciate you guys very much. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Adam. And congratulations again. Thanks to Hill.